I can't say I'm really surprised as much as I am disappointed. Do, 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 do. Doop, 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 doop. The red wave has been defeated, ladies and germs, and let me tell you, I am so glad I don't have to be afraid anymore. Those dastardly MAGA Republican racist terrorists have been defeated at their own game, thus proving that democracy was in no real danger in the first place. And that last month was terrifying for me, too. The fear became so bad that I almost ran out of brown pants. It's not because I shit them or anything, it's because I keep losing the fucking things. It's complicated, so for the sake of brevity, let's just say I keep shitting in my brown pants pants and leave it at that. Now, there's a lot of those types out there who will throw around toxic hate speech like Dominion voting systems are notoriously unreliable, or Katie Hobbs was running the Arizona vote count, or Fetter Woman can't string a sentence together. Hi, good night everybody. Now, all of those are just butthurt losers who can't understand why a population who's furiously dissatisfied with the way the country is going is voting for the very party that put them in that situation in the first place. And the answer is simple. Okay, the answer isn't simple, but let's just look at the facts. In Pennsylvania, Dr. Oz lost because he's a douchebag who cares more about buying 10 mansions and complaining about the price of broccoli instead of instilling your God-given right to suck a baby out of your twat. In the People's Democratic Republic of Michigan, General Secretary Whitmer won because of her brilliant use of federal assets and tax dollars to fake her own kidnapping so she could instill your God-given right to suck a baby out of your twat. And in the so-called communist-ridden cesspit known as New York, Kathy Holchel won because of her unique take on crime by turning a blind eye to the massive biker gang that's currently taken over Manhattan Island and also ensuring your god-given right to suck a baby out of your twat. And in the glorious Soviet city-state of Arizona, comrade Katie Hobbs has finally declared victory after bravely taking a week to count all of her votes by hand. And for the record, Hobbs was forced to do this because 40% of the voting machines in Maricopa County coincidentally broke down at the same time on election day. And look, this shit happens, okay? It's like the current president and massive pedophile said. Look, our democracy isn't perfect. It always has been. And just because you think it's suspicious doesn't mean that it requires any kind of real investigation. It's perfectly reasonable to think that it'll take a week or two to hand count a couple hundred thousand ballots. This shit happens all the time. And besides, the Trapper Keeper of the Science clearly states that 99% of Arizona residents are geriatrics. Those old motherfuckers require regular infusions of tapioca in order to keep their faculties long enough to make it to the toilet. That's a minimum of 2,874 miles worth of tapioca per capita and that's not even during an election year. And don't forget, we are on the verge of a massive diesel shortage that's gonna completely buttfuck the United States. So if food, medicine, and fuel can't be distributed across the country, what do you think the odds are of getting a bunch of old people their regular doses of tapioca? I'll give you a hint, those odds are pretty fucking low. So stop getting your panties in a bunch and listen. Everything is fine, all right? The Democrats have already investigated the situation thoroughly and found that nothing silly has happened and have completely exonerated themselves of any wrongdoing. The problem is that Carrie Lake just refuses to admit to herself that she lost in a state that favored her to win to an overwhelming degree. Now she's filing major lawsuits against the state? That's not how democracy works and that stupid little hussy knows it. That butthurt little bitch needs to understand that the Democrats didn't want her in power and she needs to stop being such a sore loser. Katie Hobbs won despite having virtually no campaign, no debate, and no charisma. That's not suspicious. That's democracy in action. And unlike those fat phobic Republicans, the Democrats aren't sore winners. In fact, they've already thrown you a bone that you don't even deserve. Kevin McCarthy has been voted Speaker of the House while Mitch McConnell gets to keep his position as Senate Minority Leader. And they rushed through this and got it out of the way so you wouldn't have any time to do any research or voice your opinion. That's pretty convenient. And the best part is there's no need to say thank you to your local Democrats because they're just that righteous. You're welcome, America. What is up, Mahonies? Welcome to the third season of Arston the Unclean. Back bright-eyed and bushy-tailed from a much-needed break from the doldrums of reality, and I am just as ready to provide you with profanity-laden sarcastic commentary just as much as you are ready to hit that like and subscribe button below. Feel free to make demands that I have some kind of set schedule in the comment section below. Today's subject is cardboard boxes. With the clusterfuck of the midterms now over, I've realized that now more than ever we need more and more people to scream into microphones and put together hastily edited videos on the internet just as God intended. As always, thank you for caring and I'll see you in the gulag.
Bye-bye. <laughs>